1.8 Rationalising thirds. You can use the following rules to rationalise thirds. So if you had 1 divided by root a, you'd multiply the top and bottom by root a. If you have a fraction where you have 1 divided by a plus or minus root b, then you multiply the top and bottom by the opposite. So if you had plus, you multiply it by minus, and if you have minus, you multiply it by plus. So let's do some examples. Question 1. 1 divided by root 5. I need to multiply the top and bottom by root 5. I multiply the tops and multiply the bottoms, so I'd have 1 times root 5 divided by root 5 multiplied by root 5. Root 5 multiplied by root 5 is root 25. The square root of 25 is 5, so the answer is root 5 divided by 5. Question 2. Root 2 divided by root 7. I need to multiply the top and bottom by root 7. Multiplying the tops and bottoms will give me root 7 times root 2 divided by root 7 times root 7 which is root 14 divided by root 49. But the square root of 49 is 7, so the answer is root 14 divided by 7. Question 3. Sometimes instead of rationalising them, you can just manipulate them. So if I had root 12 divided by root 48, I can find the largest square number that goes into both, which is root 4 multiplied by root 3, divided by root 16, divided by root 3. The square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of 16 is 4. So I have 2 root 3, divided by 4 root 3. The top and bottom will cancel, leave me with an answer of a half. Let's do some more complex examples. 1 divided by 3 plus root 2. I need to multiply the top and bottom by 3 minus root 2. So let's multiply the tops and multiply the bottoms. This will give me 1 times 3 minus root 2, and then 3 plus root 2 multiplied by 3 minus root 2. So the top just becomes 3 minus root 2. The bottom, I have 3 times 3 gives me 9. Then I have 3 times root 2, it gives me minus 3 root 2. Then I have 3 times root 2, gives me plus 3 root 2. And then I have root 2 times root 2, giving me the answer along the bottom. Now, as you can see, root 2 root 2 becomes 4 root 2. So I can change this fraction. Minus 3 root 2 plus 3 root 2 becomes nothing. So my left line is 3 minus root 2 divided by 9 minus root 4. The square root of 4 is 2, so this becomes 3 minus root 2 divided by 9 minus 2. 9 minus 2 is 7, so the answer is 3 minus root 2 divided by 7. Question 2. 5 root 2 divided by root 7, uh, root 8 minus root 7. I need to multiply the top and bottom by 8 plus root 7. So let's multiply the tops and bottoms. So let's work through this. On the top I'd have 5 root 2 times root 8, giving me 5 root 2 root 8. And then I'd have 5 root 2 times root 7, which gives me 5 root 2 root 7. Along the bottom, I have root 8 times root 8. Then I have root 7 times root 8. Minus root 7 times root 8. Minus root 7 times root 7. So let's simplify this. The top, well the root 2 multiplied by root 8 becomes root 16. And the root 2 multiplied by root 7 becomes root 14. And now root 8 times root 8 becomes root 64, and root 7 times root 7 becomes root 49. The plus root 7 root 8 and the minus root 7 root 8 become nothing. So my next line will be 5 root 16 plus 4 root 14 divided by root 64 minus root 49. 
Square root of 64 is 8, minus square root of 47 is 1. Then I also, I also notice that root 16 can become 4. So then I have 5 times 4 plus 4 root 14, 5 root 14, all divided by 8 minus 7. Leaving me with 20 plus 5 root 14 divided by 1. Well, that's just 20 plus 5 root 14. I can then factorise this, taking out a factor of 5, which gives me 5 brackets 4 plus root 14. The last question then, root 5 plus root 2 divided by root 5 minus root 2. I need to multiply the top and bottom by 5 plus root 2. Multiplying these gives me the following, so I'd have root 5 plus root 2 multiplied by root 5 plus root 2, and root 5 minus root 2 multiplied by root 5 plus root 2. Let's expand those brackets. Multiplying the top gives me root 5 times root 5, plus root 5 times root 2, plus root 2 times root 5, plus root 2 times root 2. On the bottom I have root 5 times root 5, times root 2 root 5, minus root 2 root 5, minus root 2 root 2. So I can then multiply all of these, which will give me root 25, root 10, root 10, and root 4. The plus root 2 minus root 2 become nothing, leaving me with root 25 minus root 4. The square root of 25 is 5 and the square root of 4 is 2. That gives me 5 plus, I've got 2 root 10s plus 2 over 5 minus 2, which the 2 and the 5 become 7 plus 2 root 10 over 3.